Ed, really thank you for talking to us for AGI Refugee Voices. Um, thank you. Just I wanted to ask you, what's you, how are you connected to this and how, you know, to the material we are collecting and the stories? Well, my, uh, my grandmother uh, came over on kinder transport in 1939 uh, from Vienna. Uh, she left her, her family um, and, and, and came over. She met a, another political refugee from Vienna who she didn't know in Vienna, but was actually from a couple of miles away. Um, George Skrine, who was my grandfather, uh, they met at a um, Austrian club and uh, and fell in love and got married and had my father. And so um, the Second World War, the Holocaust, um, was always something which was very present in our family, although something that was not spoken about, at least with my grandparents. Um, but you could always feel the uh, shadow of it. And it was something that me and my brothers and sisters were kind of fascinated with when we were in school and we were learning about the Second World War, we knew we had this personal family connection to it. We just didn't really know the details. And we would go round and when we'd have dinner, we would, we would ask them, uh, my, my grandfather would speak more um, about it, but they would never speak in personal terms. So, especially my grandfather was very um, learned, very intelligent, very, very eloquent, very well read. So he would almost speak about it as a historian um, rather than personally. And after they died in the early 2000s, um, me and my brothers and sisters, as it coincided with us having children and, and, and growing up somewhat, uh, began to research more into their history and got, you know, going through their belongings, we found um, quite an incredible amount of information about their journeys and their histories and their paths to England and, and, uh, and then London and, and um, uh, yeah, and therefore, you know, my history as well. So, um, and, and how do you think that your this background has sort of shaped you, and maybe also, I don't know, your career choice as an actor, or has it, you know, in which way has it shaped you? Hmm, it, it's an interesting question. Um, you know, I think I certainly stand here or sit here as the kind of embodiment of Britishness. You know, brown hair, blue eyes, white skin, six foot, a completely London accent. I've lived in the same three mile radius my whole life. So I represent Britishness and I'm aware of that. But I am the grandchild of refugees. Um, so to see, you know, the refugee crisis of the last couple of years to see the xenophobia that is greeted with the lack of empathy that the refugees are greeted with feels personal to me because they are seen as not welcome here but of course i'm welcome here because well i'm british you know i have a british passport but it's, it, it, it's, it makes me, I think, understand the, the long-term importance of um, caring for others and not being afraid by otherness, you know, whether it's skin color, race, religion, within 
two generations, everything can change. I think that the way my grandmother was treated and all of her family was treated has made me the opposite, hopefully, more empathetical of otherness, welcoming. Um, the name of your grandmother, maybe show us a photo. Uh, Susan Altrui. Uh -huh. And we have this beautiful portrait here, which I didn't, which I never saw when she was alive. We only found this after she was gone. And so I never knew her as this beautiful young woman. But it, this has a pride of place in my house.